This is the Pantages Theater in Hollywood. It's a gorgeous Art Deco theater that was built in 1930. There are some well-documented ghost stories about the Pantages, and if you talk to people who have worked there, you can probably hear some other ones. Howard Hughes owned the Pantages for a while as part of his deal with RKO Pictures. And apparently, he still haunts the second floor offices. The singing ghost is another well-known presence around the theater. Her voice was picked up by an onstage mic during a performance of Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And the entire audience heard her. And then there's the story of Anne, the wardrobe lady. She was apparently the last one to leave one night after a performance. And as she was walking up through the house, all the lights went out, including the aisle lights. So there she was in total darkness and she became disoriented and she stumbled. She felt someone touch her elbow and help her up and guide her to the exit. When she opened the door and turned around to thank the person, there was no one there. But here's a story that you won't hear anywhere else. I've heard that performers on stage have said that they've seen a man with a hat in the balcony. When I mentioned this to my friend Sergio, who used to work at the Pantages as an usher, he not only confirmed it, he added a story of his own. Now, one of the duties of an usher is to clear the house after a performance. So one day after a matinee, Sergio went to the balcony and he saw a man with a hat sitting there. The man was holding his hat in his lap. And he said to the man, I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to leave. The man looked at Sergio. Then he looked down at his lap and then looked back up at Sergio. Sergio followed the man's eyes down to his lap. And then he realized there was nothing there from the waist down. Sergio just backed up out of the balcony. <laughs>